Alexander asks, what do you think of delegated proof of stake (DPoS) and what do you think of EOS? Um, I am not that familiar with EOS because I do not have the time to study every blockchain that's out there to a level of depth to have an in-depth opinion. I do have some superficial knowledge about EOS as well as its uh, delegated proof of stake um, mechanism. I think uh, the fundamental problem with delegator, delegated proof of stake is the same problem we have in uh, political democracy and traditional systems that we use for elections, and that is voter apathy. And we've seen this happen a number of times, both in proof of stake and delegated proof of stake systems, where people delegate their vote to others to use proof of stake, uh, but then they don't pay attention to how these uh, delegates are voting on their behalf. The same problem you have when you elect a member of Congress, and then you don't really pay attention to how they are voting in Congress, or even you don't vote for Congress at all. And this exists in every democracy. Voter apathy is the problem. It takes a lot of work to pay close attention to all of the political machinations and games that may occur in a proof-of-stake system where um, uh, for example, in EOS, block producers are jockeying for a position. And, uh, there have been a number of cases where block producers have been voted out of the network, and um, have been quite bitter about it. There is a lot of lobbying and politics, and um, coalitions, and jockeying for a position, as I said before. So, I think EOS is a very, very interesting experiment, because what it is doing is it is exploring the areas of governance through delegated proof-of-stake systems that um, other blockchains are not exploring. It is doing so at significant scale, with significant money at stake. That is the kind of testing you need to do to a governance system. A governance system can work perfectly well on paper, and then when you put millions of dollars behind it, and there is something actually at stake, uh, no pun intended, then things get interesting. Then you start exploring the edge cases in the game theory. Then you have an adversarial system where people are trying to profit, um, which is how game theory works, and is a good thing, of course. Um, but if there are weaknesses in the mechanisms of governance, that can lead to failures of the of the delegated proof of stake or proof of stake system. So, uh, what do I think of EOS? I think it is a very interesting experiment in uh, governance. And experiments don't have to be successful to give us great data. In fact, we get enormous amounts of data from the things that blow up by studying very carefully how they blow up. Um, so whether EOS succeeds or not, we're going to learn a lot uh, because we're able to see this experiment play out at very large scale uh, compared to previous delegated proof of stake systems. I would say the same thing about uh, Dash, as well as a number of other prominent proof of stake and delegated proof of stake, Byzantine fault tolerance and various variations on these consensus algorithms. You know, consensus algorithms are a brand new science. And beyond the science, they're also a mechanism for applied economics and game theory that gets very seriously tested uh, when operated at scale with real money. So um, all of these systems that are experimenting with different consensus algorithms are teaching us a lot. Uh, and I think that's great.